Hello, darling. Welcome back to another episode of Narrating. My name is Ebony Morrison, and these are the stories of my life. Okay, birthday vlog. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this one. I have such a good birthday. I turned 28. Capricorn queen, period. Okay, let's jump straight into it. Get a black. Okay, so we got to the place, right? I got me a little Airbnb child, and I just invited a few of my friends. It was so nice. Like, it was so big. It had how many rooms? It had two rooms, but they were huge. And then it had a nice little living room, and it had a balcony, and it was on South Beach. It was cute. Like, it was real, real cute. And I only, it was it was like four or $500 for one night, but I only paid like 100 because when we went to the Olympics, they give you like an Airbnb credit, so I just used like most of the credit to pay for most of it and i just paid like a hundred dollars and i was i was real cute with a little little pit house it wasn't a penthouse but it was it was fire it was fire okay so i had okay let me tell you <laughs> I, it was only five of us in there was it five it was one two three four five it was five of us in there and i but i had got catered food catering polar tropical catering okay but look they only let you order for 10 people. That's as small as you could go. So I had got food basically for 10 people and we had so much food. It was busting though, but it was just way too much food. And then, and then, tell me why. So you know you get the chicken, the rice, the beans, the plantains, blah, blah, right? It was a nice little spread and it was only a hundred, hundred something dollars. I was like, okay, cool. I just wanted us to have food, have drinks, be cute, right? Have everything, you know what I'm saying? Why did poor Tropical give me this big fat bucket of beans? And when I say bucket of beans, a big fat ass tub of black beans. I'm like, what is this? Like the chicken and the rice was real cute, but this big fat tub of beans, like what are we doing for real for real? Anyways, had the food, had the spread. Oh, we decorated the place, had the food all put out, put the lights. It was so cute. I was so happy. Okay, then my friends started to come. Mimi came first and she was getting put her makeup on, doing my makeup. She was on her makeup. It was getting real cute. And then Jason and Miles came. Then we started getting turned up, started getting lit. We was playing games, was drinking drinks, making TikToks, dancing. We was having too much fun. Then I was like, okay, let's play the, let's do the little TikTok where you go we put the phone in the bathroom and he'd be like hey my name's Ebony and I think this person gonna get drunk first blah blah, blah. so we all did that get into it all right what's good it's your boy Jada King you already know him for Ebony birthday who finna be the drunkest uh even though it's Ebony birthday I'm gonna have to say Miles Miles finna be the drunkest hey I'm the birthday girl and I think I think I think Mimi, I think Mimi's gonna be the drunkest because we all know Mimi get <laughs> turn. Hey, my name is Miles, and um, I think Elle gonna get the drunkest because she's a lightweight. Hey, it's Hassan. I think Ebony's gonna be the drunkest tonight because she's already done. So listen, oh hi, my name is Mimi. We have to start off saying that. So. Look. Yeah. So, um, look at that's us taking shots. And she says that um, I'm supposed to say who's gonna be the first to get drunk. According to this, it's gonna be Jason. If it's not Jason, then it's gonna be Ev. Ev's gonna be the first. You found me, Ebony. Found me. You found me. I'm saying. When I say, bro, I like you. You don't even. You don't even know. Like I tell people. People that don't even know you, like. Can we all agree that it was Miles that, uh. And I didn't guess him correctly. <laughs> no, I didn't. Because I was like, oh, he's going on day two, so he can hang. So I can I, hang, I, for I, real. Just, all right, it's your boy Jason back at it. I already told y'all it was going to be Miles, like. Like I said, it was going to be him who, who gets drunk first. But she started going tipsy early, and Miles was fine, everyone was fine. And then. Miles just crashed doing weird stuff. Damn, they got my dog. They got my dog, Miles. My point to a little, a little, it need a little brush up. It's okay, but damn. It was Miles, y'all. I was wrong. It wasn't Jason. It wasn't me. <laughs> um, Miles was the lightweight. Let's see, come and look at it. Wow, this is brush is very pretty. It's like golden. Hmm, don't be upset because I'm using your brush. Ed. 
but I really like it. It's cute. Then we played more games and we danced more and we made more TikToks. And then Jason was like, let's talk about how we first met Ebony and how, how long we've known each other. So we went around the table did a little kumbaya and, and everybody was like, yeah, I remember Ebony from this and we was this years old and la 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 It was so cute. And then it was time to sing happy birthday. I felt so cute. I had my little gold outfit with my little... <laughs> Tiara, I said birthday girl, and I was just. <laughs> How old are you now? 28? 28. Oh, she's so fucking beautiful. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll make a wish. Yes, make a wish. My father, the whole model for walks with me. Period. <laughs> no, that was a good video, too, by the way. That's Thank you. Video. Subscribe to my YouTube bruh, channel, bruh. Narrator Black. Drink the fucking water, bro. Okay, let's see. Yes, I had all my friends there. I had my 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 men there. Child, it was <laughs> it was so cute. Moment of silence before I, I tell you the rest of what happened. All right, so things start to quiet down. Start to start to it starts to get a little bit more chill because it's getting later in the night. You know, things winding down. Whatever, right? People getting ready to go to sleep, right? Sleep over. The people were sleeping over, right? All of a, I'm just chilling on my phone, enjoying the vibes. All of a sudden, Jason come around the corner. Said, hey, Eb, it's not looking too good in there. I said, how are you talking about? He said, come look. Somebody, I ain't gonna name no names, threw it's up so all over no the bed. Straight rice and beans was on the bed. I ain't naming no names. So I was like, Ooh. I'm like, damn, what the hell? I'm definitely not dealing with that tonight. So I took my butt in the other room and I went to sleep. Woke up in the morning, me and Hassan trying to fix up the air. Look, look people gone. Me and Hassan wake up, people is gone. There is nobody there. I'm like, dang, y'all ain't wanna say bye? Like, nobody is there at the Airbnb. It's just me and Hassan. We go in the room, scrape rice and beans, just chilling there, still there. I'm like, What's happening? So me and Hassan, again, it's almost time to check out. Me and Hassan trying to clean the place up, right? We clean the place up. We take the um, sheet, did what we had to do. We put all the stuff in the washing machine. There was no detergent to wash it because we was about to wash it. There was no detergent to wash it. So we put it in a washing machine, stripped the beds to make it easier for the cleaning lady. Clean, took took the trash out to the um, terrace, um, to the um, trash chute, cleaned the balcony, swept, took all the decorations down, cleaned the fridge out. Everything was good to go. Why? An hour later, the Airbnb lady come texting me talking about something. Um, you owe me $418 <laughs> for messing up my place. I said, wait a minute, hold on. $418? First of all, ma'am. Okay, look, I ain't gonna lie. The sheets did get messed up. That was throw up on the sheets. But we stripped the sheets. The mattress was fine. Mattress protector was fine. Everything was fine. It was throw up on the sheets. Took the sheets off. Swept all the throw up away. Threw the sheets. Threw those sheets in the washing machine. Cleaned the rest of the place. The, the place was spotless. Let's be clear. Let's be 100 clear. The place was spotless. She talking about we destroyed her place and caused damage. There was absolutely no damage to her place. Absolutely none. It was spotless. The only thing that there was an issue is was okay. They did throw up on the bed. Okay, cool. I texted later. I said, unfortunately, we had a little accident, and I'm willing to give you 100 dollars um, to replace the sheets. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, okay, we all know sheets don't cost $100, but I'm, I'm gonna give you $100 to replace the sheets. She talking about something, no. No, ma'am. I need $418, because I have to buy new sheets for all the beds. I gotta buy towels and mattress protectors for all three beds, because y'all left it filthy. There was blood and throw up and semen and food on the ceiling. I'm like, wait a damn, hold on one. Wait a minute, hold on. What are you talking about? Like, she was really trying to gas it. Like, she really, really was. Like, please. Like, she I said, look, lady, I don't know. I don't know what the hell y'all got going on over there. But no. Because me and her son made sure that the place was spotless before we left. Like, there was no sun. There was no way to know that there was any issues unless you opened up the washing machine to see that the sheets were stained which we were about to clean ourselves but there was no detergent to clean the escalated the thing the airbnb child and they tell me all some can you provide proof that blah, blah blah luckily i had pictures of how the place was spotless blah blah and i told them i said look i told her i was willing to give her a hundred dollars for the 
for the new sheets but i'm not giving her 418 dollars for sheets like no yeah suck my ass we just got a letter wonder who it's from suck my ass um like a long story short <clears throat> airbnb sided with her but they said okay yes you did cause damage which is against our rules but we're only gonna ask you to pay the hundred dollars which i already agreed to say that i would pay so um yeah but i had a good birthday let's be very clear i had a great birthday it was it was i had a great time i really did i enjoyed being with my friends my man living life just oh, i'm so blessed I think 28 is gonna be an amazing year. I'm gonna accomplish all my goals and dreams. Live life. I'm really enjoying myself. I feel so happy and like so blessed and I'm just so thankful. I still got my friends, got my grandma with me, got my man. Like it's like it's really good. It's really really good. Okay, thank you so much for watching this episode of Narrated Black. I hope you come back for the next one. And please like and subscribe and comment because it really really helps my videos out. Like a lot of work goes into these videos. So it kind of sucks when you don't get that many views. Not that it's, not that that's going to deter me because I'm going to keep going. Like I really enjoy doing this. But it would just be nice to see that people appreciate the effort that I'm putting into these videos. Comment below on um, what color my background should be. It's pink now. Before it was purple. I can do blue too, y'all. There's so the possibilities are Endless. You can go green. Give a look. Oh, I don't like the green. We got red. Tell me what y'all want. Like, do we like blue? Oh, blue's given. But yeah, go in the comments and tell me what color. What? What, what color we feeling, y'all? Let me know. Okay, see y'all back here next time. Bye. Get them black. Fool. Get them black. Call. Get them black. The wing. Get them black. Money. Fuck them up. I played. Get them right. Call. Tighten up. Get them right. Get them black. Tighten up.